I want to explain the difference between supporting interoperability lips and core interoperability lips. Lips are essentially research papers. They're an acronym standing for LISC Improvement Proposals. And since 2018, we are publishing these lips first before we're working on the implementation of the features and releasing it to the public. This makes sure that we have a continuous process from idea to implementation and make sure to not have too great delays on its way. Um, as you know, you need to fully understand a new feature first before you're implementing it. And especially with blockchain technology, there's so many edge cases and so many parameters that we decided to have it as a research-led effort in which we essentially kink out every little detail of a new feature before um, we're doing a requirement gathering and start the implementation of it. Um, and our LISC interoperability solution is so big, it's essentially 19 LIPS or 19 research papers that um, yeah, this, this process proves to be the right choice we made three years ago. Um, however, it's so big that we separated this time the LIPS into two categories, supporting ones and core ones, because we are going to announce all the LIPS at the same time at LISC.js 2021 at the 21st of May and 22nd of May. Um, and it's so much content um, that we decided to do the split in order to be able to release some of the LIPS already before the event. And these are the supporting LIPS. They basically um, explain some research topics which are important for our ecosystem and for our protocol um, and in some cases also necessities for the interoperability protocol. However, they are not part of the core solution of our interoperability solution. So they are more like complementary or supporting some of the other research which happens inside the core lips. And we have a total of 19 lips to be published at LISC, JS and before, which basically form the total of our LISC interoperability solution. And five of them are supporting. So we are now making sure to publish around like one every one or two weeks so that we have all the supporting lips covered until the LISC JS event. So in the next few weeks, you can expect more lips being published on our research forum on which you have the chance to peer review them, give your input and your feedback um, and maybe even um, investigate potential security issues with them before then after a certain grace period we are merging them into our GitHub repository where all lips are being collected. Um, and then on the event itself at ListJS we are then publishing also the remaining 14 core interoperability lips which give you the complete insight in how interoperability will work on the list network.